Okay, so just in case you couldn't tell, my canvas is saturated with white paint. Um, so I'm going to start with a few colors here. I have Mina Villegas, Insert Sarcasm, favorite pink. <laughs> I have um, Aqua Flash by Color Shift. I have Prussian Gray, or pr pr nope, sorry, Payne's Gray by Golden Flu uh, Acrylics. I have Blue Topaz by um, Treasure Gold Series by Folk Art. I've been using this for a few weeks now and I love it. Um, I have 24K Gold. Uh, it's a little thick, but we'll just leave it the way it is. And then I have uh, Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine hot, uh, Fluid Acrylic, and I've got my white. So these paints are a little bit thinner than usual. Um, and so we are going to revisit the Ninja Swipe. It has been quite a while since I've done one, so uh, bear with me. Um, paint consistency is super important in this kind of style and technique, so um, we'll see how we do. So we're going to start with Payne's Gray, and I'm going to start over here in the corner. And maybe, oh, we'll go right with the Fluorescent Violet by Blick Acrylic. And we'll do some gold. The gold is thicker than the others as the gold spreads. So the thicker it is, the less it'll spread. That's why I don't have a whole lot on here. I'm wondering. And we'll keep with the colors that I'm. No, I want to. I want to add some. I'm gonna add a little coral to this just once. I was hanging out over there and. Want it to be used. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of white in there, but I'm going to move it out of my big cup and put it in a smaller cup to control the pour. So I haven't done this in a while and I feel like I'm putting a little too much paint on my little bullseye. Uh, and we'll do a little more paint spray. Okay, so uh, maybe a little of this. There we go. And a little more of this. This might be too much, but we'll see. You can modify these. And then I'm gonna do a ring around it, similar to when one does a Dutch pour. And I'm going to put the iridescent right out of the bottle in the center. So, we'll see how it turns out. And give it a quick torch.
Now I am down to the canvas in certain areas, so I'm waiting a few minutes to let it, or a few seconds to let it fall in there. I'm loving the unicorn swirls that we get. I'm gonna bring in some of my color here to fill in the area that has been opened up. don't like the coral in there so we're gonna nix that the next time so I think what I'm gonna do is that and that and I'm gonna move it a bit So I'm stretching out some of this. I'm gonna bring it back. And I'm not crazy about it, so we are going to start removing bits of it.
loving this area in here. And I'll bring you guys in in just a minute to see it. Well, that's not what I wanted, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll just work with it. Um, this is a very abstract way of painting with fluid acrylics. Um, sometimes things show up in the painting that you never expected. Um, if any of you have watched Carousel, um, I will link it in the video description, but that one you'll see the process and the end result. I could never repeat that if I tried. Um, <laughs> I, in fact, I didn't even notice the end result until um, my boyfriend had pointed it out to me. I really like this area right here. Dig in the negative space on this piece and the Payne's gray really adds to it. that. Um, I see a whole lot in terms of um, any little creatures or anything. So my paint gray is heavier than um, my white base. So what's happening is they're sinking, the color is sinking in, which creates some really cool effects and fine lines. So there's some shadowing in here, which creates a little bit of depth in the painting. I did end up getting rid of the unicorn horns, um, but
that's okay. They weren't super defined, but um, yeah. it needs much more but I don't like these lines here sort of bothered by them white back in there because I scraped down to the canvas um, it's great to be able to choose your or your composition I know a lot of times with fluid art you can't really control necessarily the outcome one it's forgiving as you can remove and keep whatever you like until you get something that you love I feel like there needs to be more more white but I'm just gonna leave it be for now my dots so I add little dots of iridescent gold And I add my little swirls. I want to play with that area. I love that area right there.
right, so I think that's gonna just about do it. Um, add a little bit of detail here and there, but nothing too much. And you can just make it your own. So we'll bring you guys in for a close-up in just one moment. All right, the lighting's not the best, but here it is with all its little details. You guys haven't seen a ninja swipe from me from a while now, and for a while now, and it was probably time because obviously I'm not painting currently. This has been pre-recorded, but uh, I hope you guys like it. I feel like I need to get some more white in the center, but I'm gonna leave it just as is. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.